let's take a ride on this Turbo Star. Cue the intro. Passengers Mega Sim, we are standing next to this Class 17410 at Edinburgh Waverley Station, and we're catching this train to Mark Inch. That's right, today's video, as long as it all goes well with all the timings, I'm going to try and go on every single station on the five circle. But th first things first, let's climb aboard because there's nobody else on here, which is amazing. Here is first class at the front of the train, two by one. So some of the lights aren't on, which is fine. But there is nobody else in this train. So we get a nice good look at the train that's coming to Trainsome World. River Games are putting the class 170 on this route. That is the only train on this route that we are aware of. There might be layers. There might be layers. That's not been confirmed yet. And then also Skyhook Games, who created Midland Mainline, their 158 is going to be reliveried into ScotRail, and that will be a separate DLC coming soon. Just in case, this is the toilet. <laughs> well, what we'll do is we'll walk through the train whilst it is quiet. So we can have a look at this whole train walk through and then I'll go back to my bag because I don't want them telling me off going, oh, you left your bag. Yeah, it's a two by two configuration apart from first class, which is a two by one. This is a class 170 400 series. I've been, I've heard that there's so many different editions of the 400 series in the cab. So just be aware that if um, if you have a look at the cab when it does come out and you think, oh, that button's in the wrong place or that's this and that's that, even when they came from the factory, from when they were built, they were different, so different. They had these little tweaks here and there, probably because of stock availability or whatever. So not every 170-4 are the same so just be aware of that i'm gonna say you know i know i know it's been mentioned of people going oh but what about this what about that there are totally different versions of it even though they're the same series so just be aware of that when we do see it and don't go well i've seen a photo because <laughs> we all do it i've seen a photo and this does this and that does that it's always going to be the case but yeah so this is the 170 Dash 4 that we're going to be getting. I'm looking forward to seeing all your liveries that you're going to be creating soon. Um, you know, we've got Cross Country, we've got EMR, we've got Southern, we've got North. Yeah, we've got so many different versions of this train that you can cr create with the livery. But we're going back to our seat because I can see a few people like, what's he doing in there? He's just walking around with, a, with his phone. Yes, I am because I wanted to get on board before anyone else was on board. I know the full lights aren't on, but we've got a full walk through of this train. And annoyingly, I can't use this video now because I have talked all the way through it, unless I do it silent. <laughs> There's only one toilet. Or was there two? I can't remember now. <sighs> Look at that, not to be moved. Anyway, that was a nice clip that we're doing. Anyway, there's my case. Let's sit down and I've just realised there's somebody in here. So I've just been shouting so loud. Anyway, let's, uh, let's sit down and wait for this train to depart in about 15 minutes. So let's have a quick look at the map that I've got for my Central Scotland Rover Rail route. So we are going to Edinburgh Waverley, Haymarket, South Gyle. I don't think we're stopping at South Gyle. We've got Edinburgh Gateway, Dalmeny, North Queens Ferry, and then Dalgetty Bay, Abadour, Burntisland, Kinghorn, Kokodi, 
and Mark Inch. That's our first route that we're going to be doing. This train goes on to Dundee. The next route we're going to try and do is Markage to Inverkeithing. So Markage, Kirkcaldy, Kirkcaldy, sorry, Kinghorn, Burntisland, Abador, Dalgetty Bay, Inverkeithing. And then we're going to try and get a train from Inverkeithing, Rosyth, Dunfermline City, Dunfermline Queen Margaret, Cowdenbeath, uh, Logelli, uh, Cardendon, and Glenrothes with Thornton. Finally, I do have to go back to Dunfermline, so we'll then get the train, that same train that stopped at Glenrose, back to Dunfermline City. It's almost 10 o'clock, and if all the trains run on time and I catch them all, I should arrive at Dunfermline City at 26 minutes past one this afternoon. So, for me and for you guys, I am doing a three and a half hour train journey to get round the whole of the five circles and one of the journeys will definitely be on a 170 and I think one of the others will be on a 158 so we get to see the Rivet Games version and the Skyhook which, which will be coming soon no price is announced yet and no date yet but we're trying to do the whole five circle if we can and then I've got to do my work at Dunfermline then travel to Kokodi and then I'm getting a train from Kokodi down to York and then York to Derby to go home let's wait for this train to leave so it's just about to turn 10 o'clock so we're probably ready and rearing to go and we say goodbye to uh, Edinburgh Waverley so we've had a couple of days here hopefully you've seen uh, some of the videos that we've put up on train real world um, I am posting uh, an hour beforehand a message on Megasim just to tell you about the Train Real World video but we've got every, we've got a video in Scotland every day this week up till Sunday apart from apart from the Friday one when I mean, that was already um, set and scheduled so I haven't moved that that's uh, I can't remember what it was now uh, Gerard's Cross because I don't can't remember where we here we go So I think I'm going to be putting this out Friday, I think, but I still haven't made up my mind. So keep an eye on those train real world ones. I've got some really good trips. Glasgow Subway, Edinburgh Glasgow, Cathcart Circle, a bit of HST goodness as well. But let's go to Haymarket. I have no idea how I couldn't tell Burnt Island is Burnt Island because it is Island, I S L A N D. Bum. Anyway, here we are at Haymarket. Now I can't remember a 170 doing this noise. Well, well.
the 66. You know, we're kind of okay with it, but dad rail, oh, it gets to you after a while because that's all you hear. So this is Edinburgh Gateway, a light here for the airport.
to Edinburgh Airport. Please mind the gap when alighting from this train. Incocardi last. 
last year. But these videos haven't come out yet on Train Real World. Because the ones that I've done um, for this week, I'm putting out all at the same time. Um, so I think it's next month the videos that I've got around Scotland that I did last year. So keep an eye on that because there's some good videos on there. There's some good trips I took. It's coming into Mark Inch now. And there's not my train because uh, I get the eleven fourteen. There goes that 158. I panicked. I couldn't get to the front of the train because I panicked. I was like, have I got my ticket? I do, but it felt smaller than it usually felt. And I was like, oh no, have I left it on the train? So yeah, I panicked big time there. Well, there's the planter. So yeah, let's, uh, let's get over the other side and then we can wait for our train. So I'm just thinking, could that have been the old station office in some way? Because you've got this new one here, but look, those windows have been bricked up, but then you've got that white bit, kind of like maybe you went down into it. I don't know. What do you think? I've not looked at the history of Mark Inch. But yeah, just waiting for our train now to edit. Well, we're going to Inverkey thing. There should be an Inverness, uh, not Inverness, Aberdeen, a zoomer coming through two minutes before my train gets here so hopefully we're going to see that go through 
before heading to Inverkeithing. So that is my train to start going home later. 1649 Kakadi down to York. It's that exact train. Looking forward to it. did say I wasn't going to film but I lied. Are we going to count those uh, wind turbines there? Will we have that many on the rivet version? Because remember with Skyhook Games they didn't have them at Spondum then they put a load in and then I went uh, no there's two so they updated it. I don't know if it's come through on the game yet but I did ask and uh, they straight away went yep fixed put two because I showed them a video. So there we go, there's a video. And uh, I am this side, so I'm gonna show you bits of this side because we've got the coastline. So I'm gonna show you the coastline. I didn't show you it on the way down to Mark Inch, because I was the wrong side, but I will show you on the way back bits of it. Will we get that football stadium? That'd be cool. So yeah, left Kakodi. Kakodi. I keep trying to say Kakodi. It's Kakodi. Um, and then we'll have the uh, coastal line in a minute, so we'll get to see the the majestic sea coming up. missed it well I saw it but through chain windows right we're in the key thing so let's watch this uh, 170 
Dash 3. So this isn't the one that's going to come with Trains to World, with Rivet, because that's going to be a 400. This is a 300. We now have to wait about 10 minutes for our 158 to take us to Glenroth with Thornton's. Thornton's chocolates. That HST came in early. It's supposed to have come through at six minutes past, go through at three minutes past, but there wasn't a through train approaching announcement for platform two, so it crept up on me.
So I'm standing on platform two of Inverkey thing and I'm thinking, what is this? What was it? Was it an advert? It looks like, yeah, some sort of framing to put an advert on there, but it's just been left. And then like these bits here added later, you know, this bit and this bit to stop people climbing up there. Well, you can climb up that one, but just not this one. Yeah, just a weird, weird thing. Let me know in the comments if you know. what What is this or what was it used for? Mate, you stopped early. I was at the forecast stop. I want to get on this. Let's get on. Oh, that was loud. Didn't get all of that, but we are on 158. Let me get to have a look around this as well. Let me just put my suitcase down and we'll have a look around. So going back on ourselves. Right, so this is the 158 that Skyhook Games are going to be releasing, not at launch when Five Circle comes out, but having a look at the train itself. So we've got quite a bit of luggage here, which is really good. We've got some bike areas, we've got a toilet. Just in case, oh, that actually does smell bad. And here, look, this is where the original payphone was for the 158. How cool is that? And then you've got the other toilet here. It didn't open fully, but you've got the changing table. Let's go and have a look. Got more bike areas there. More luggage racks. So yes, two by two. There's a lot of tables in this 158, which is really nice. Really nice to see that. And then as we come to the end, I know we've got this middle bit, so we'll kind of walk through it. Yeah, so this is the yellow door right at the front. But we're going straight through. Look at that, we can. That's where they would sit as well. And there we go. What we do is I'm gonna walk back so I can sit down and uh, take a look. Oh look, CCTV up there. That looks newer than the 171. Anyway, let's go and sit down. So we're at Rosyth. The first station on this little bit. Hopefully you enjoyed that little tour. Hopefully that helped. I just missed that. So Dunfermline City is this station name, but at the other end of this station where it's, you know, it's blocked off, the sign says Dunfermline Town, because we know it changed into a city, so it had to update. But it said Dunfermline Town. So I'm gonna get, I think we're right at the end anyway, so we're not gonna, we're not gonna see another one. So if I remember, no, I won't because, I'll, yeah, I don't think I will. Yeah, that's annoying. That one's city. Yeah, just the other end of this platform, there is a Dunfermline town sign. So this is Dunfermline Queen Margaret.
So why is it called Queen Margaret? Is it because of a local hospital or, you know, is this area called the Queen Margaret area? I'm not sure, I've not looked into it. But I think I found out. <laughs> I am right. It's for the Queen Margaret Hospital. Doesn't look like this track gets used, does it? A bit rusty. Yeah, six car stop, so it looks like a potential siding, but not sure when it was last used. That's a 170 with an 58 connected to it. I really do hope they do connect it. They probably will, but I can't confirm or deny or because there's nothing official. But hopefully it will connect and it will do its job and it will look amazing. Ellie. And weirdly enough, there's no announcements at all on this train. Nothing's coming through. Only a couple more stops and then we're at the end of the line. And then we stay on this train to then go back to Dunfermline City and then see my customer. Whoop whoop.
So we're coming up to the end of the line. Glen Rothes with Thornton, not Glen Rothes, Glen Rothes with Thornton. Look at that, that new housing estate has new. Is that a new housing estate? No, it's not. No, it's not. That's not new. <laughs> I thought it was new, but it's not. That's older. Um, but yeah, they've got their own train station. That's pretty good, isn't it? And that uh, trampoline, hopefully that's uh, secured, especially by the railway. Now that HST went through here earlier to do a loop, so it was going from Haymarket to Haymarket, to Haymarket Depot, Haymarket Depot to Haymarket Deco, Depot, because it had to turn around. Not sure why. Let me know in the comments. Why would a HST want to turn around? Why would they want it the other way? Well, here we are, end of the line. Let's have a look outside quickly before we uh, make our way back, because because we're running late. The driver's literally just going to get out and run. Caravan park. Probably just uh, sorting his cab out before going to the other end because he's not got out yet. If he does, I have to move. Now, what's the point in this? He's gone out of the station to change ends. But why? Because he could have done that in the station. He was running late. He kicked me out. He was like, oh, you got to get out. And I'm like, but we're on the same platform. No, we have to do a swept around. I'm going, okay. He's like, yeah, you got to get off. We'll be back in a minute. I said, is it on the other platform? No, it's on this platform. So I'm like, well, why are you, why? That's a very weird thing to do. To swap ends like this, just so, oh, I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> rant over. Rant might be a bit different because I can hear some hissing. Maybe he's removing the two, maybe they're splitting the four car to a two car. Possibly. We'll find out in a minute. So he's turned his lights on, so he should be coming back now. So we've pretty much done it. We have gone to every single station on the Fife Circle that is coming to Tracing World soon. Rivet Games are bringing out the route. We have gone from Edinburgh Waverley up to Mark Inch, from Mark Inch down to Inverkeithing, then Inverkeithing to Glenrothes. We've done the whole route. Amazing. We are now approaching Kevin B. Please mind the gap when alighting from this Got a couple more stations till I arrive at Dunfermline City. And 
and then I go and see my customer for the afternoon. But that was good. I, I enjoyed it. Hopefully you did too. I don't know how long this video is. But we went to every every station. We've been on the 170. We've been on the 158. We've seen an Azuma go through. Just be aware that there won't be layers. If there are layers, they wouldn't be on this part of the route because we don't have the 800, the Class 800 Azuma, which has all the diesel engines. We have the 801, which is fully electric with one emergency diesel just for depot use. Um, if we do get layers at Edinburgh Waverley, that would be nice to see. We've potentially got the 380. We've potentially got um, the Azumas as well that we could have on there too. Um, and then people can create delivery for Scott Rail HSTs using the MTUs, using the Great Western versions, and then drive them through the five circle. I know it doesn't stop, but who cares? It's really good. And also, thinking about it, you could even use the LNER, the LNER um, liveries, and pretend you're like the Azuma, because the LNER HSTs came up here to Aberdeen, so they they stopped at Kakodi and in the key thing and all of that so you could even try that as well but hopefully this video helps you you know to look forward to the route and see the difference between the real life version compared to the game version when it comes out as i said no price yet no date yet but it is coming soon a couple more stations and we'll be at Dunfermline, minute and that's when i'll say my goodbyes when we get off this train so i did ask the guard and um and it was correct. So, <clears throat> well, I say correct, because I've been messaging the uh, beta chat as well for Five Circle that the 158, or any train, when they get to that platform, they have to go not in service, so they have to kick everyone off to go back out the station like that to reset the signal to then come back in. Because they're not in circle, they, uh, not in service, they have to kick everyone off, hence me having to get off. But that's what they have to do so now we know that is something that really does happen so I've put that forward to Rivet and to Skyhook just to let them know that that has to happen if they don't already know you know you don't know it might not show up on timetables they may not know but that definitely happens they have to do it to reset that signal right then let's get off This is Dunfermline City. So let's walk to the end so we can uh, have a look at the front of the train when it departs. And then we can say our goodbyes and then I can go and see my customer. Whoop. That's right. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe for more from La Mega Sim. Social media links under the description below. And don't forget the train real world videos as well that we've got. But here we go. I'll see you soon, guys. Bye.